Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Victoria Famia with your top stories from the past week. On Thursday, Noah Vatten, the man who killed 23-year-old Issa Carrier during a Canada Day event in 2018, was sentenced to another one year and 11 months in jail, followed by three years of probation. His total sentence before time already served was four years and three months. Carrier had just moved from Ontario just a few weeks before he was killed in downtown Kelowna on the evening of July 1, 2018, when Vatten stabbed him in the chest during an altercation. Carrier's parents, Amin and Nazneen Carrier, were in Kelowna Supreme Court during Thursday's sentencing hearing. I think in this case, justice this was, was found to some degree. Uh, obviously, we feel sorry for, for this young man to some degree, but it doesn't change the crime. The, the important thing is that you learn from these mistakes and that you give back more than you can, that you've taken. A vigil was held at UBC Okanagan Friday to honor the life of 24-year-old campus security guard Harmon Deep Carr, who was killed at work the morning of February 26. Hundreds gathered at the University Center to mourn Carr after she was assaulted by a worker at the university and later died in hospital. A male suspect was arrested after the attack under the Mental Health Act and is still being detained. Charges have not been announced yet. On Tuesday, Vernon RCMP responded to a report of a robbery at a business on the 4300 block of 32nd Street around 9.45 a.m. Police say a man entered the business and allegedly produced a firearm demanding cash. The suspect fled from the scene prior to the arrival of police and was seen departing in a compact car. Later that day, shortly after 3 p.m., officers acting on a tip located a suspect vehicle in the East Vernon area and safely arrested the two occupants without incident. Two Penticton residents are standing together to show support for Ukraine, brought together over Russia's invasion of the country back in February. Those people are being brutalized and, and, and murdered, and I, I just feel like we need to get out. And even if we are just a small little force, I think it's important that people hear our voices. I think it's important to be here for the Ukrainian community as well. Construction is well underway at Riverside Park, where crews are working on a number of upgrades, including flood protection for important city infrastructure. The capital project's manager for the city of Kamloops said on Thursday that the $5.2 million project will be completed in several stages. The uh, project's pretty exciting. The first component, uh, primarily, we're focusing on the flood protection works. Uh, the primary reason we are doing that work, though, is for protection of critical sanitary infrastructure in the park. That's all for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Victoria Famia.